Chan Chan Ruiz. <laughs> Chang Chang was the capital of the Chimur civilization. The Chimur lived from the 11th and 15th century up to Jesus. <laughs> Chang Chang was divided in nine sections. We call them palaces, fortresses, or citadels, small cities. We are going to visit only one, only this. This was opened in 1969. It's a very important, a very important ceremony. Look, please, very careful. Look at the architecture. The Chimus, they had three different social classes. The poor people, the middle class, and the high people. There. They have a, a monumental architecture. It was only for the governor and his family. The poor people, they couldn't use the mud brick. They mm. use an, another material, a cane, to cover with mud. In Spanish, we call quincha. It's a, very, a traditional material. Cane covered with mud. It's a very simple material. Okay. Look, please. <laughs> this, is the, this is the city that we are going to visit. Mm. It, its name used to be Shudi. Shudi was a, a biologist from Switzerland. But I don't know what happened. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, more or less, there was an, an, an archaeologist who said, I don't like the name. And he changed. Now mm. the name of this place is Nikan. Achimu, Achimu name. That's a vulture. Mucho. Mucho. Where? Well. Shopping mall. Where? Look, please. Look the map. At the main square, you can take a picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly what was the fortress. <coughs> Maybe it was for the ceremonies. Look like, look like that. that, that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was in order to, uh, to put some offering. Or, we don't know. Nobody knows really the fortress. The, the Chimus, they were good fishing, good fisheries a good farmer so for that reason all the decorations are related to the, to the ocean look here please those animals are the sea, sea water the waves and the sky all the decorations that we are going to see they are related to the ocean fishing net, fishes pelican everything related to the ocean in order to make these decorations, the, the, the Chimus, they didn't use a, a mold. They, they made it one by one. Look please very carefully the tail of this animal. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Mm. One of them has three divisions, the other one has four. four yeah. mm -hmm. How they made this decoration? First they built the, the, the wall, and then they put a plaster and they designed the figure that they want to represent with a special instrument they took off all the material that they didn't need and they got the decoration mm. just in case this is original but some of them was 
De muchicas and the chimus, they didn't know the steps. They used the ramps. Round, round. Ah, ramp. Because of the decorations on the wall. The pelicans are representing the, the beach. The lions are representing the waves. And the fish swimming in the water. Mm -hmm. A very intelligent way to represent. Look on the back side, the please. What do you believe in representing this decoration? The fishing net. Oh, the fishing net. The fishing net. The Chimus, they had a, 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 a social economy. All the, the, the production, the grains and the corn, the bean. They used to keep a big storage. You can see over there. There. They made the distribution according to their needs. They use this in order to put some iron related to the to the ocean or related to the to the to the fishing. Look please the, the fishing net. Fisher, fisher. Over the water. Everywhere we are going to find this kind of decoration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look please, how deep is it? More or less 10 centimeters. Look over there. This place? Deeper. Mm -hmm. Over there we can see through the wall. The fishing net is represented in many ways. Can you see on the top of the walls? We call that capping. They put that in order to protect it from the rain. Mm. Please, let's continue, please. Mm. <laughs> Bangkam bangka si tate. No alien, no alien. We are going to the for the side. Parang ano, no? Put inside, though. Just in case, this is the best area with beautiful decorations. In another place, we are not going to see this. section. We call this the small altars. We don't know exactly. Look please over there. There are some, some, some niches. Over there. More niches. There are 28 niches. Niche. What does it mean? 28. 28. The days of the moon 
Month. Ah, month. 28 days. The God, the, the God of the, the Chimus was the moon. Yes. The ocean also. Yes. For the reason that number we find in many places. Look, play the decoration. Mm -hmm. The pelicans, they represent in many ways. Ah, what is he doing? Pelican. What is it doing? It's sleeping. Mm. Here, stylized it. Here, flying. Where are those animals? Look over there. Stylized it. And then what? Beautiful decoration. In this room, in this room. You didn't see. Here. It's Lego. Another one flying over there. Yes. Sleeping. No, I don't know. It is hiding. <laughs> well, uh, originally those walls were about three meters high. They had roof. The roof mm -hmm. has been supported by column made in, in wood. There is only one column that we are going to, to see from the other side. <laughs> Imagine when they were three meters high with the roof. It was very difficult to go from one place to another place. There is an idea. Maybe they use the <coughs> pelicans. Look, please, these pelicans. They are coming from the south to the north. But in this side, eh, they are coming from the north to the side. Maybe they use the pelican like a, a traffic sign. Maybe. Yeah. Look at the wall. Representing a pelican with horns. A very intelligent way to, to build. How they could build the, the wall joined by the corner, the, the mud bricks. It's very difficult. Well, another group is coming. Yeah, yeah. Another group. Another group, another group boss. <laughs> Chan -chan ruins. Look, please. A piece of wood inside of the wall. That's the only one column that exists now. In each corner, there was a corner supporting the roof. Now there is only one. We don't know exactly. No, 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 I <laughs> asked me what happened with these people. <coughs> the Chimus, they were conquered by the Incas. The Incas arrived here in 1460 or 1470. After the Incas arrived the Spaniards, the Spanish people, in 1532, what happened with the Chimus? Pizarro, the chief of the group of the conquerors, he was very intelligent. He told them, don't worry. He told to the Chimus, don't worry, I am going to, to recover, I am going to help you to recover your freedom from the Incas. That was a big lie. And the Chimus, they fight against the Inca. They help to the Spanish people. But everybody knows what was the result. You ask me that question. Mm, yeah. That's the one. The green one. Mm. The green one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so somebody this asking me about uh, earthquake. This one, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
the last earthquake that we had here was in 1970. Yeah. It was terrible. They died about 50,000 people. Many, many people. Please, look the walls. They don't have any crack. Yes. Mm. How they could support the, the squeaks? The Chimus, they were very good engineers. Very good architects. Where is the explanation? How the earthquakes they didn't destroy the walls? The Chimus, they were very, very intelligent. I am going to explain you and to show you many details why this wall, according to the chronicle, they could support the, the, the earthquakes. Look, please here. Uh, just a moment. Come here, come here. Another group is. Right. What do you believe was this place? Salvage. 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 But for domestic purposes, in order to drink, to prepare their food, they use this, this system. They use to get the water underground, filter and fresh water. Yeah, this is like a, a swimming pool. What happened 20 years ago? the different colors mm. it was going to this the water was going to destroy the the, the walls mm. they had to build walls with the stone area. <laughs> the wall which is surrounding the palace about 10 and 12 meters high. It has only one entrance. But look this. This was also a very well protected uh, area. What was this? It was a cemetery. A cemetery? Yes. This one cemetery? This one cemetery? Here they used to make uh, some ceremonies before to bury the body. Okay, according to the chronicles, they made about uh, four or five days ceremonies. After they transported the, the body using a ram. Can you see a ram? Yeah, yeah it's turned to the left, to the right, to the left. The tombs are located. No, 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 this one. It was only for high people, for VIP. The, the poor people, they were very outside in a, a popular cemetery. The VIP people, yeah. No. Now they are empty. I had the opportunity to see. There are 40, 40 tombs. I, I could see all. But now it's not possible. They, they, they cover with gravel. Mm. Because of the... In, in 1987 there was a big... Uh, storm, uh, rain. Mm. 
It was going to destroy the, the, the tombs and they protect the gravel. Now it's not possible to get in. Yeah. Thank you very much for the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many, many rooms. There are two different ideas. Maybe they were warehouses, storages, or maybe they, they, this was a military area for people who was in charge of the security of this, this, mm. this part. Mm. They don't have the, they don't have room. They don't have uh, doors, they have uh, something like window. Oh. Yeah, they, they, they have roof. Condo, condo. Three meters. 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 meters. Long. This. 350 meters wide. Oh! How about the bottle? How about the? Hmm. In this side, there is a, a very large room. Entertain entertainment room. Maybe room. <laughs> Maybe it was something like a congress, a a, a parliament. Mm. Ah, very important. In order to get in, it was necessary to cross by many controls. So one, <laughs> two, three, four controls. Mm. Very safe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know.